Hey guys, what up? It's your girl Emily here, and today's video is kind of on this look here. It's inspired by the 4th of July, which is American Independence Day. I don't know if anybody watches my videos that's in America, but if you... Let me... Let me know down below where you go to the farm. Um, I'm kind of interested to see where everybody's from. So if you guys are kind of... I don't know, if you guys like this video, and you like me, then give the video a thumbs up. Also be sure to subscribe, I'm trying to get to a thousand of you guys. A thousand ballerinas, okay? And then we will have a giveaway once I get to a thousand of you babies. So let's try and do that. Um, let me know down below where you guys are from. Let me know down below other videos you would like to see. I hope you guys enjoy this makeup look. It's very fun and bold, but I'm in love with it now. And yeah, let's for fashion, so I'm gonna be using the W7 Genius Light Genius for the Light Foundation, it looks like that. I'm in the shade Buff. Um, I really like this, the only complaint is that after a while the dropper, like my dropper stopped working, which <laughs> really disappointed me because I actually really only got it for the dropper because I'm a sucker for really cute packaging. So um, I kind of noticed I have to like tip it out of the bottle. So W7, if you're like watching this, please improve your dropper. Oh, that was too much. Cause I don't know, it's a really nice foundation though, I'm not gonna lie, I really like it. I'm also going to use this teardrop foundation sponge that I actually got from Kmart. Um, I really like it. I think it's a really easy way to apply foundation. Um, I don't know, I just, I really like these. I've been preferring this over my Chi Chi beauty sponge a bit lately. Even though that was like my go-to foundation sponge for a couple months. This foundation guys, if you're looking for a very heavy foundation, I wouldn't recommend because it's not very heavy at all. It's very lightweight. Um, very very kind of medium I would say like very light coverage so I mean if you're looking for a very heavy coverage foundation this is probably not the foundation for you but regardless I really like it I think it's a really nice foundation with that foundation that I used before I also just kind of covered up some of my darkest under eyes they're not I don't think they're terrible at the moment. I don't know. You guys be the judge of that. Um, or editing you really be the judge of that. But I don't know. So now I'm just going to powder up and start on my eyeballs. So to powder up today I'm going to be using the Mineral Foundation from Thin Lizzy in the shade Oriental Doll. I'm going to be using it on a really big um, designer brand powder brush because it's a really nice big brush and it really does the job. I only really got to like liking powder 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 this brush um when I had a photo shoot a couple months ago and you know they're like do really light minimal makeup for it because it was like kind of like you get to the shoot and you have to be kind of be prepared so I did um because the makeup artists got sick and they couldn't really find a replacement so um I don't know I found a love for this brush again during that shoot because I literally applied like all of my makeup for that shoot with this brush um like all of my face and I still look really flawless so and it looked really good on camera as well well I mean I think it did so yeah um it's nearly gone which sucks because it was actually one of my favorite foundations <laughs> um now I'm gonna zoom you guys in oh yay and we are going to start on our eyes I'm not going to prime my eyes but if you have oilier eyelids than mine then please do prime them. In fact, I'm actually, I'm kidding, I will prime them. I'm just going to brush on a tiny, tiny bit of this peachy shade here. Um, from the I Heart Makeup I Heart Sim Palette, I'm just going to brush a little tiny bit of that on all over my lids just to kind of act as a prime shade. It's a matte, kind of peachy, creamy shade. And it does the job. That was a really bad application, I know, and I'm not sorry. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to go over most of the lid in my inner corner with this ILMA eyeshadow softie, which again, I've talked about this in a few videos. I think I've used this in a few videos. It's in the shade 155 Cashmere. It is the prettiest white shade in the world. Um, it looks really yellowy and really creamy and really like white, yellowy, creamy in the pan. But then you get this baby on your lids and on your brush and you're like, damn... So, I mean, I personally adore this colour, and I can see my dad, and he's probably going to pull a face at me, or do something. So if I react, blame my dad. He's out in the garden, and the garden's like right in front of my room. 
Okay. So I'm actually just going to go with my finger in that shade now because this packs on a whole lot better with your finger, I found. Um, I don't know why. It just does. Like that. Now I'm going to go into this, the I Heart Sim palette again. These all have names, but they have names on the little clear protector sheet, and I took that away. And I'm going to blind you guys. I'm really sorry. So I'm going to use this kind of a purpley bluish shade first. And I'm going to actually apply that in my crease with this Eco Tools blending brush thing. Um, this is kind of more of a transition shade than anything, guys. Honestly, like... It's a lot more of a transition shade. I'm actually going to take this limited collection palette thing. This was from M&S. I got it for Christmas from my cousins. Um, I'm going to use this really lovely blue shade right here. It's got a bit of a shimmer to it, but regardless, it's still a really pretty shade. Very, very buttery and easy to blend. I'm going to be using the smudging side of this Eco Tools brush for this. Why the smudging side? Because damn, honey, it applies well. This is so pigmented and buttery. Oh my gosh. So I'm just kind of applying this to like the outer V as you guys can hopefully come and see. That rhymed. It looks really messy, I know, but we're going to go out and blend it. So then, yeah, then just blend it with the other side of that brush. With the blue one from before. And this is starting to kind of create the smoky, the smoky blue tones in the eye. Can you guys kind of see what I mean? See what I'm saying? I really like it. I think it's a really nice look. Then we're going to go in with another really dark blue shadow. This is called Midnight Sky. It's another Are My Eyeshadow Softie. It's the number 160. Um, I'm going to use the same brush. I just literally wiped it off on the table. <laughs> um, and I'm going to just apply that to the very outer corner. I'm going to take a random blending brush that I've just pulled out. I don't know which one it is, um, but it's a good one. It's more of an angled one too, which I like. Um, and I'm going to blend it out. And then again, I'm just going to take some more of that shade on my brush. And I'm going to pop this into the kind of outer half a little bit more. This is really kind of helping to intensify the, um, the little eye look a little bit more. And really just give it the blue flare that I want. Obviously, you don't have to want the blue flare that I want, but, yeah. And I'm going to take a little bit of that blue, the, the same one. I'm going to take a little bit on that blending brush and kind of blend that into the crease a little bit more. Taking the blending brush that's not clean at all from before, just I'm really going to take this creamy white shadow stuff. Um, I don't actually, oh, whoops, oops. <laughs> I don't actually know what it is, but it's really nice. Um, from that same palette that I, the m and one. Um, I'm just popping this on my kind of where the whiter bit was before. And using my finger to do this because it makes life easier. Um, and then with that, I'm then going to use that same packing brush from before. But instead of packing on the whiter shade that I used, I'm going to pack on this one here from my I Hearts Makeup I Hearts Sin palette. Um, and just really pack that on. Oh, that's nice. And then with whatever's left on this brush from before, kind of help to blend some of that blue into it. Like that. And then whatever's left on here, I'm just going to kind of try and smoke it under my eye a little bit. Nothing too crazy, you know, just like, just a little bit of blue. And then obviously you want to blend that out. Try not to look like an Emily when you do that, because I look terrifying. And then bring that white from whatever's left on the brush in a little bit more. Also, I'm going to highlight the brow bone, even though I'm not even done my brows yet. I'm going to be right. I'm going to do the other eye, this eye off camera, and I'm also going to do my brows off camera. Okay, so now that I've done my brows, they're not exactly amazing, but they're brows, right? Um, I'm going to just go in with some mascara. This is the Rimmel Scandalized Retro Glam Mascara. Apparently this is a dupe for Two Faces Better Than Six. I've never really tried that mascara out, but I promise you guys I will try that mascara out and let you guys know if it's a dupe or not. Um, if you guys actually want me to do any like a dupe videos, let me know. I'm really keen to do that. Of course, if you guys want to curl your lashes, then please do. Um, I don't really always curl my lashes because they kind of tend to like be kind of naturally curly anyway. You know, like, they're not just 
they're not pain in the butts, they're kind of alright lashes, um, I, I love my lashes, so, um, yeah, I'm not going to apply falsies with this either, but honestly, if you want, obviously you can apply falsies, you do you, I don't really tend to wear falsies because I'm crap at putting them on, but if you guys want me to put on falsies and video me trying them, then let me know, you do that. I've got mascara like, all over my face, but that's fine because I can wipe it off. Um, obviously you guys are kind of, probably kind of want to want like more dramatic brushes than this, but you do you. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on a blush. I'm going to apply some blush. Um, the blush I'll be using today is one that I've used quite a lot recently. It is the Makeup Revolution London Treat Blush. It looks like this. It's a really pretty blush. Um, kind of more on the natural side than what I usually wear. So I'm just going to use it. It's kind of a pinky orangey. I'm going to apply this more sculpturally today. So not just to make me look like a blushing baby. I'm going to, you know... This is going to try and hopefully give me some more depth to my face and what I currently have. I love this brush, it's so soft. Pop up my nose. Um, and then I'm going to go in with a bronzer. Which bronzer should I use today? I'm going to use this e.l.f. Sunkissed Bronzer in the shade Warm Tan. Just with the same brush because I'm that cool. This is just obviously adding the tiniest bit of depth to my face. If you guys, um... Or no, you know, go full on, I guess, American. You guys could do the full on contour and stuff. I'm not going to personally because I don't really, I don't know, I just, I don't feel like it. So I, I'm not going to, <laughs> I don't feel like it. <laughs> um, but I'm popping this on the side. I'm popping the same bronzer on just the side of my faces and stuff like that. How many faces? Jeez, how many faces? Face. Face. Um, and I'm just popping it. On the size of my nose with my finger, it looks really drastic, I know, but just blend it. And then for highlight, I'm going to be using my favourite brush. This I use to set my face, my under eyes and to highlight. It's the Real Techniques Setting Brush. And to highlight my face today, I'm actually going to use this one here. It's Makeup Revolution London Vivid Baked, Baked Highlight in the shade Peach Lights. The lid came off of those, I'm kind of like keeping in a little glad bag at the moment. Because um, I'm in love with it and I don't want it to like, you know. Contour, uh, highlight lovely. <sighs> Ooh, woo. Um, I'm now just going to be a widow and just wipe off, you know, the excess um, lip balm. And I'm going to put some lipstick on. You can use, honestly, you could use like any lipstick. I'm going to go, I... <sighs> Emily, you put one of your containers right behind your camera. Are you serious, Emily? Like, wow. Just wow. I've got my little lipstick drawer right here. Um, I'm going to put a red one on because it's for you Americans. And you guys have blue on your flag. So, yeah, I think you do. Do you? I think so. I think you guys are kind of like us. Um, so I'm using the Emiway Scarlet Siren Matte Lipstick. I really like this lipstick a lot. It's a really pretty blue based. But again, it's very matte, so it's quite drying. And then if you guys want to be super duper 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 creative, you can pop like a little, I don't know, like a little star on your face with an eyeliner. But I'm not going to. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Sorry if it was a little bit long. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time.